Hey passengers, today is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers. We are here at Disney World's Hollywood Studios. Had to think about it for a second. It's been a very long day for me, very long. If you know, some of y'all know that I, last night, flew from Orlando, where I spent the rest of this past week. I had to fly to Dallas, and this morning, I had to go back to work, where I'm a flight attendant. So this morning, I wake up very early, like 3 a.m., stuff like that. I went from Dallas, I went to Chicago, then I went from Chicago down to Orlando. Full flights, once again. Well, uh, I was thinking that I was staying close to the hotel. Uh, the, the hotel was close to Disney World, and it wasn't. So, it's like, I don't know what to do. You know what? I know what to do. I had a reservation here at Disney Hollywood Studios, so I rented it a car and I zoomed on down here. It's 6 p.m. though, so I thought the park closed at 7. I was like, oh no, I only got like an hour. No, I don't. It closes tonight at 8 p.m., so I am ready, but man, I gotta get up early. I gotta wake up like at 3 a.m. Anyway, work starts at 6 a.m., but I gotta get to the airport again. So, Joe, roll that intro. Park exit, park entrance, a little bit of a uh, wait, it's okay. The pass holders is not available, which is fine. You know, it's fine. I'm in, oh my gosh, it feels so good. As always, I love being here. As you can tell, I've lost part of my voice, I think from last week and uh, one of the other theme parks I was at. So much fun, so much enjoyment, so much happiness. You know what? Even though I did that there and I've done a, thing, a few things here, I love it here the most. Today I'm at uh, Hollywood Studios. I have a layover next week and I'm going to Animal Kingdom. Hopefully I can get in early and after I get in early, hopefully I can get to uh, Animal Kingdom and then uh, do one of the other parks as well. So we'll see how that works out. Stay tuned. Oh. All right, I'm in the park. I've got my beverage. So, being that I've got to be at work at um, in about 12 hours, I'm only permitted to drink alcohol uh, up to eight hours prior to what we call throttle. So, um, now that's not inclusive. That means you cannot be intoxicated. You can't have any alcohol in your system. So, you got to make sure that the uh, you work it properly. So I got 12 hours right now. I got my beverage here. This would be basically be like if I was at dinner right now and I was having a beverage. So I drink responsibly and I will not have any more after this because I value my job. Let's have some fun. Oh goodness, the, uh, let's see, uh, Rock and Roller Coaster standby entrance is 30 minutes long right now. This is at the end of it, so. You want uh, Rock and Roller? Going 30 minutes right now. And it looks like it's 45 minutes standby for Tower of Terror. Oh, what do I want to wait in line for? Uh, her, her. Arr, so much they're both so much fun. I don't know. So much fun. That's fine. It's gonna be this one. I'm gonna do rock and roller coaster. Oh wait, you see this? Look, Mickey and Minnie. Okay, yep, I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna Mickey and Minnie's. I'll have to come back to here because I'm gonna go do Mickey and Minnie's runaway railway first. Let's do it. It's only 15 minutes. Let's roll. So I had to get a photo, one taken by the Disney photographers themselves. I got mine taken by Josh, and I'm in front of the Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Hopefully that will process in time before we post this video. Hopefully it looks good too, we'll see. So, uh, I hope they could take some weight off of me. That would be nice. Just trim it up a little bit, would you? Thanks. 
Y'all, look at this line. It's like nothing. This is so crazy. Like nobody's here right now. It's the end of the night at a Chinese theater where Mickey and Minnie Runaway Railway is going to commence. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Remember, folks, there is a beginning to this scene you are not watching. Please, please come and see this when you can watch the beginning of the scene. I can quickly describe it to you. Pluto is holding the picnic basket. Get it? He's holding that picnic basket and many runs it. They run over a, um, a speed bump. He gets thrown out. Well, Pluto being the loyal friend that he is, chases down Mickey and Minnie just so that uh, they can have the greatest picnic ever because nothing can stop us now. You ever wonder what's in uh, some of these? We got Mary Tyler Moore. We've got Dick Van Dyke. Y'all might be a little too young to know who these people are. Uh, Harrison Ford. Y'all know who Harrison Ford is. Yeah, he did that in 1991. That's his footprints. His footprints, his handprints. His signature. All right, Susan Sarandon we've got. We got Beauty and the Beast. Mrs. Mrs. Uh, Angela Lansbury herself. Wow. Y'all remember the show Murder, She Wrote? There she is, but she was also Mrs. Potts. And the Beast was here as well. Awesome, how cool is that? You know, there's a lot of names that you don't get a chance to see. One of them that just stood out to me as I'm walking past is Kermit the Frog. Not Kermit Frog, but Kermit the Frog. It's not Easter the Bunny. It's not Santa the Claus. It's Kermit the Frog with Jim Henson. So this is Jim Henson's signatures and Kermit the Frog's handprints as well. Back in 1989. Wow. Bob Hope, y'all. You know what? As we keep going up here, here we go. It is Minnie Mouse herself. You know, remember, she was starred. She starred in the first uh, picture film with Mickey himself. So there she is. Look at them handprints. Those are so cool. And the mouse himself, we got Mickey. Gosh, this is swell. Mickey Mouse. Look how big his footprint is. Look at this, okay. I'm a size 11. My, 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 that, that mouse has got a big foot. Look, I got, I'm standing in his footprints. I'm, I'm, I can't stand in his shoes, but there's his hands. How cool. Uh, the perfect picnic. Perfect picnic, yes. All right, so. We've got a cast member here. Uh, is making sure everyone maintains their set of uh, six feet. And I think that's going to change here very, very soon. Hi. So there's rumors it's going to end on the 16th of face. Or excuse me. Hi. Hello. So, thank you. Welcome. So there's rumors it's going to end on the 16th for temperature checks and the six foot is dropping to three foot. That's just a rumor, folks. I don't know anything. I'm just telling you. Rumors are meant to be broken and not be true. So make sure you, you uh, follow all the rules that Disney World uh, gives to you when you're here. So face shields have already started to be disappearing from some of the cast members here. They, they have them on, but... Um, so things are starting to change. I don't think the cast members are allowed to say anything. Personally, I don't. I think they've basically been told just keep it day to day operations the way it is, and that's it. Here comes our train. Wasn't that fun? I just love doing this ride every single time I'm here. It is such a wonderful tribute to Mickey Mouse, Minnie, and Pluto himself. My voice is pretty much gone, folks. I love it here so very much. Like, I'm so happy, and you've got to come and see this. Take pride on the Mickey and Minnie Express. Runaway Railway, not the express. What am I saying? Mickey and Minnie Runaway Railway. All right, y'all. Let's see what else we can get into. All along. Oh, 
So I'm just done with Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Wonderful ride, as always. I run into a cast member and I said, cause she was telling people, you know, to make sure you put your mask over your nose. And then she made a comment to uh, how much she hates these masks. And I'm like, well, we don't have to do the temperature screenings come May 16th. And she goes, that's right. We didn't have to do it as of yesterday, which was May the 8th of this. So today is May the 9th, which is Mother's Day at the time of this recording. So I finally got a cast member to finally tell me that May the 16th will be the official day that temperature screenings will not happen. I did not ask about the three foot rule going from six down to three. I thought I'd leave that one alone. I got enough from her. So I'm here on the 17th. My next trip is on the 17th of May and that's my dad's birthday happy birthday dad and happy mother's day y'all charlotte mom everybody's it's uh mother's day so anyway i got to get that i'm happy about that what am i going to do next i don't know i don't know i don't know thinking toy story i'm thinking rock and roller coaster let's go Look at Minnie. Hi, Minnie. That's a good boy, Pluto. Hi, Pluto. This is a good boy. Hi, Pluto. Love you, Pluto. Good boy. How cool is this to be able to see this? Look at his license plate. So, I just got more photos taken for the Tower of Terror and the photographer, uh, okay, whatever I said, the photographer, um, he is the most animated person. I love it, watch him, let's take a look. Excellent. Ready, watch your legs. Oh, touch each other real close. Yeah, like a good group fight right there. Awesome. Excellent. And you're going like this. Yes. 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 Excellent. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's what it's all about, y'all. Having some. I mean. That's memories for me too. Once I see those photos, we'll see how awesome running was. So fun. I think I'm glad I was able to do what I did first, which is Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Right now, this is a uh, 30 minute still. Okay, still, but no, it's not. I bet we can get in and out and still ride Tower of Terror tonight before we gotta leave. I almost got ran over some, by some girls. Yep, 30 minutes there, it's listed. So you see how they've got this? It's a little zigzag and whoopity whooped and all them circles and doop doop doops. Yep, that's the Mickey Mouse way. Awesome. All right, so if you want to come to Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy, it closes at 7 p.m. Now, this looks like it is interchangeable. It is, but tonight, this area will be currently closed at 7 p.m. That's here in five minutes, y'all. So if you want to come here, make sure you know what time it is. It's a lot of fun, but they got to shut this down and start shutting the rest of the park down. There I am. Seven dollars, that's it? Just seven dollars? Come on, we can do better than that. Come on. So my final thoughts for today's trip was even if you don't 
think you have enough time to come to Walt Disney World, do it anyway. So it's not as hot, so I wasn't sweating as bad. And I was able to get on a couple rides fairly quickly. I was able to have just this great magical experience like I normally do. I just didn't have a lot of time to do it, but it still makes me want to come back and I can't wait. Um, I also noticed that when I was driving through that I didn't have to pay. So that was what, six o'clock? And I have an annual pass, so it's already free for me. However, you can just bypass it. And I think we got that in video uh, earlier. So um, you just bypass it and just go straight to your parking. I got pretty premium parking, in my opinion, right up front. And now it's time to go get some food. Anyway, folks, if you like this video, it's another like it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Please tell your friends. We're having so much fun with these videos. And we would love to have more uh, viewers and some more subscribers so we can share our experiences with everybody. A lot of fun, a lot of fun, I'm telling you. Marcus and I and Joe, it's been a lot of fun. So we couldn't do this without you. Thank you very much for your subscribing. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that bell for future notifications. We'll be out there and about, and we can't wait to see you. Bye.